Good day, hi, and welcome. Let's go check out our fire. All right. Yeah, it's going. I'll leave that. Go for a little bit more. Got a pile out of Get some more wood in today. Goal is get all this filled up. Belly wedge. I made a boo boo last night. Are we making boo boos? Gotta stop making these boo boos. And uh, warning graphic. I got a bunch of pelts out. So if you're sensitive to that stuff, I just brought in my beaver, my beaver pelt. He's frozen. I forgot to put my belly wedge in in there last night. So that's like priority number one. It's like last night I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? And <gasps> belly wedge. So he should, he'll be okay for today. Uh, he might be a little bit frozen, but I'm going to get the belly wedge in. And uh, this raccoon turned out really nice. Uh, I don't know about the legs. Maybe we could have done a bit better on the legs, but look at the thickness. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I got him pretty even. Got the tail nice. Considering I screwed up on the tail when I uh, accidentally pulled the tail off. So a uh, little note, especially when you're new at it. I don't know how the other guy got away with it pulling the tail from here and not pulling it, pulling the tail off. I pull from usually here on at least halfway two-thirds to halfway so take it a little longer to skin it down but skin it down and then do the pull uh if not you'll break the tail off inside the inside the pelt and that, that could be a real pain in the ass so <laughs> it wasn't that much pain in the butt but an extra 10 minutes of work for nothing so i got my otter pelts in what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drill a hole in each little board at the top there's my mink I made a little mink down there you doing good doesn't smell very good in here right now but <laughs> it's not that bad but not, not like when they're fresh, but uh, the otter pelts are coming out. Um, the uh, I know what you're probably going to ask. Why are these ones got that weird kind of white to them and these ones are not? Uh, the This, is I think, is the oldest one. I think it's because they froze. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you why it does that. I couldn't tell you why it does that. But it does look good. Uh, I'm going to wipe them down, give them a maintenance. You know, and uh, it's a good idea. Like, you can leave them outside as long as they're staying dry. But then maybe uh, bring them in for a day or so or a few hours at a time just to monitor, make sure that they're fully, if they were frozen a bit, that they're fully thawed out. Like, you see all the grease just running off that off them. Uh, particularly that one. That was really greasy. Uh the early otters versus the late otters the late otters the fats a lot uh was a lot more dense oh my dog so what happens is the the fat is easier to come off the early otters because they're not it's not cold they're not feeding off the fat stores when they're starting to feed off the fat stores that's when it's uh a lot harder to uh uh to flesh them and stuff uh that's pretty much all the animals even a raccoon but raccoons because they're so gooey hey missy where's gooey uh, i got two out of three anyway uh oh a little update uh that dog uh my brother my brother brought him into the house there so looks like that dog's gonna be okay i guess somebody abandoned it he was sitting in the snowbank shiver and i called him but he wouldn't come to me so but uh he was close to my brother's house so ended up uh doing that so i got the beaver in here thawing out i washed it yesterday i don't think i'll be flushing it today because i really want to make sure it's super dry before I do that but it doesn't really matter uh today what i got going on is belly wedge top priority and uh if you ever try to take a pelt off a board without uh <laughs> i mean it just goes on there like cement um there's my boards. They made them accident. They're supposed to be 32 each. 32 by 48. I think I screwed up and I went 36, 36. And whatever was the remainder. <laughs> so, looks like that was going to be for the small beavers. But theoretically, you should be able to get um, six beavers. One beaver pelt on this side. One beaver pelt on that side. If you do it that way. I'm going to take one as a... Basically, sizing board. I... I was looking all over the place for a board to replace my raccoon board and duh i brought this in and i forgot all about it that i brought it in it's like yeah this is the one i'm going to make by so i got to cut out a raccoon board out of that uh getting ready for the beaver house uh got this one to finish up today and another one 
and then obviously all my beaver beaver blitzkrieg stuff should be out i don't know if i'll get them all out today but i'm going to get at least get the ice broke today to see where the den or where the entrance is for the uh, then i got a pile of wood uh where the entrance is for the beaver house and uh that's going to be today's main goal uh the only pelt right now that i got to finish up is the the beaver until i catch more and i have a hunch by this weekend i should have a bunch of beavers uh just to show you how well that tool did on that um did pretty darn good on the uh on the uh, raccoon again there's still a little bit of stuff on there but it's it's always one of those when do you say when because if you keep going on it you're going to put hell, uh, holes in it um the bite marks or whatever seem to have uh, stayed over in the area where it doesn't matter you see uh, there's a bite mark there there and there that that's not that's not from me i could tell because you could tell there's like it it was uh so something bitter in the butt that that's the then we'll check that out yeah see that that's good now the legs i didn't know what to do with the legs i should have tied them but i just left them i think that's some stuff i got to take off there there's always like little stuff you can clean up after uh uh, there's one nipple, two nipple, three nipple, four nipple, five and six were somewhere around here. And, uh, yeah, so it was a nice little, a very nice female. Not a little one, it was a big one. Got the jaw cut out and everything like that. Uh, storing them, always store your boards head down. And I'm going to take care of this belly wedge thing right now. Right, right, right now. At this very moment. Should be a big enough belly wedge. It's just uh, when you put it in there, put it in layer like that. So when you pull it out, you get you can slacken off the the pelt a bit. Um, there's already a mark where I need it to be. Okay, good. That works. And uh, I'll grab my something with flying there. Grab my little saw, and then uh, yeah, I'll get that done. Uh, so yeah, I got another busy day, and. Uh, yeah when i get out there i'll show you but uh, these are priority today so at some point you got to just do it in in indoor stuff uh, this is the stuff you should have done in the preseason. i know uh like i said i i made a last minute decision to get into this but i would have been nice to have at least 10 of every board ready to go before the season started that way you're not trying to skin the animal flush the animal and make make a board for it I don't anticipate in catching too, more, too many more raccoons this time of year. Could happen. But usually when it's really cold, you don't catch too many raccoons. You'll get the odd one, but uh, uh, raccoons are kind of, they, they, like, they semi-hibernate. So they usually don't come out unless they get like a, a really mild spike. And then all of a sudden you got this giant, you know, perfect raccoon. But they're usually going to be a big coonzilla at some point in your uh, in, in your. Uh, and your trap but uh focus right now is on the beavers by the end of january the focus will be on the wolves and i'm gonna go from there all right there we go